Good evening, thank you very much. Uh, I am, thank you. So yes, this, this is the day that I gave up on my dreams. It was the 3rd of January 2014, and it was a sudden realisation that something I'd always wanted to do was never ever going to happen. Bit of a sad moment, thank you. This is me, we just whizzed back to 1978. These were the things I loved as a child. Bit of a weirdo. Um, math, birds. But the thing that I really did like was acting. I was always the first one up, you know, can I be in the school play? Please, can I? Please, can I? And I did do a few leads. And I've just loved being on stage. It's always made me very nervous, but I've loved it. Fast forward to 1981, the year of the first London Marathon. There's Mo, Mo, uh, Mo Farrah winning it. Um, and also, more importantly, the, the year that the first DeLorean was made, star of the best band. Um, Best film ever. Um, it's also the year that I bought 12 gold bars by Status Quo. Um, and I love Status Quo, there's the best lineup of Parfit. And uh, I love Lancaster there, it wasn't from Lancaster, it was from Peckham. <laughs> um, anyway, that started my love of uh, heavy metal and it grew and grew. Um, Iron Maiden, ZZ Top, um, Dio, and of course Elaine Page. <laughs> Fantastic album. One of them. <laughs> seminal albums of the 80s for heavy metal fans. But it wasn't until 1986 when I had uh, Master of Puppets for the first time that it really got me into it. You know, I was like, God, this is amazing stuff. It's still my favourite album. And uh, I've loved heavy metal ever since, you know, the faster the better. Then in 1987 I went to Donington, that's me there in the crowd. <laughs> on the James the um, and it was my first ever concert, and I thought, this is it, I have got to be a rock god. I have got to do it, I've got to be on stage. And what does, what does every rock god need? <laughs> he needs a caveman outfit. <laughs> but as well as a caveman outfit, he needs long hair. So I started growing my hair when I was about 14. By 16 here, I was, I was pretty cool. <laughs> uh, long hair is, is cool. But I also need a guitar, so I saved up for one, and I bought one from Kerrang! magazine, an axe guitar, and it was shite! <laughs> that amp there is actual life-size, I don't know if anyone can remember this. <laughs> Might no wonder that guitarist didn't show in his face. <laughs> but anyway, um, things started happening, you know, I'd, I'd, I'd get lessons, but I don't ever get it. I'm terrible at guitar, to be honest. I'm not frankly awful, and I had kids in there to call me time, they're my kids in the cellar. Um, <laughs> I never got the hang of playing guitar and I really did try, but anyway, one day I did join the band. Um, but I joined the band as a singer and I thought, bollocks the guitar, I can't do it. <laughs> That's me uh, in Rio's actually, for a fairly good days. Um, but yeah, uh, I met some interesting people while I were in the band, although I wasn't very good at it. I met. Uh, no, I didn't meet Jeremy Beagle. Um, <laughs> I don't know what he's doing there. So anyway, the band split up and uh, sadly we all moved away and did other things. And uh, I, I actually moved to Clarkeaton and I joined the local pool team. That's me to play pool. That's me. My that's not me. My first season. <laughs> so I'm messing with my slide. <laughs> anyway, no, that's clearly not me. Um, anyway, one day I had to play tricky. Uh, shot over a couple of balls using a bridge. Now, if anybody doesn't know what a bridge is, that's really doing it. You've got to use your hand to get over a couple of balls. Have you noticed Michael Jackson referee in there with his with his glove on? I thought that was interesting. <laughs> So anyway, one of my friends said something to me which has changed my life forever when he saw me doing this. Fuck me, look at the size of your fingers. And I went, what? And he went, look at him. And I was, I was 31 years old and no one had ever said anything about my fingers before. You're not looking now, are you? But lots of people started comparing my fingers. Now I'm not going to point him out because he's gone on to be one of my closest friends. But that's the bastard there. Now, if you look at our hands, it doesn't seem anything really to a miss at first glance, does it? Um, there may be you know, a little bit of a difference, but it's not until you get up close and you put mine next to his. Look at it, the smug bastard. But it really does look like a child's hand, doesn't it? I've, I've just got tiny fingers, I've never knew. Like, that's why I can't play guitar. 31 of us. And then I get all these. That's where Jeremy Beadle came in, because I've got these nicknames now. Well, nice spoonies and Benny Mijeedle, Dinny Midgets and Fossage Singers. <laughs> all my friends call me that now. Oh, they, you know, they put a pint glass in behind and oh, I think you can't hold it, can you? It's very funny. <laughs> but on the 3rd of January last year, I gave my guitar away because I'd had that eight years uh, and I couldn't play it. I didn't play it three times and my fingers don't go down to the top string, so I give it to Kirkwood Hospice. And I thought, there you go. So that was my life on stage, gone, until three months later I thought, damn it, I'm going to give uh, stand-up comedy a route, I'm not very good at that either. 
But never mind, because today I found a guitar that's just right, custom made. But it's just right, and if there's enough time now, I'm going to play you a quick song. Have I got time? Yes! Wait. Go on. I don't really know it. No, I better go. It's only a kid's one. <laughs> Thank you very much.